Are you impressed? No, you don't really care, no. I don't know, I think that it's funny, no. Even the last time my brother, I came my brother twice and he doesn't really like it. He's not very impressed with that, which I find very weird. I don't know, even Jacob's face is like 4 upon 10. I've never been here during summer. It's very, very hot today, but I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, loving it despite the summer heat. And the fact is that I don't, I'm not going to GPS myself. I'm not going to use a map because there are all these fantastic little signs just to guide me. And I'd love to get lost in Venice. So come, come. This is what I think you can get for your family oh, as well. Yeah, these are very sweet. Yeah, <laughs> so we have cats and with, with all this uh, scary, scary stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, so the nose thing about it. The, the thing I don't know it, yeah. what to use. You don't know what to use, but these are so cute. Look at the mask. Oh, really to celebrate Carnivale. Actually, I think the prices have gone down. Right? I, saw quite, I saw things for like 2 for 10 euros. Last time it used to be like 1 for 10. I think the prices have gone down, I'm not sure. And that's like even quite cheap as well. The menu, menu de la chef is only 13.90. 13 their store and storage space and things like that. So I think the only thing that they suffer a lot is a lot of rust, humidity and rust. I think less than 10% of our original Venetians stay here. Less than 10. So everything else is foreigners and tourists. I love it. I love it. Check us on Instagram. It's pretty, yeah? It's colourful. Jacob, are you impressed? No, you don't really care, no. I don't know, the thing is that it's funny, you know? Even the last time my brother, I came my brother twice, and he doesn't really like it. He's not very impressed with Venice, which I find very weird. I don't know, even Jacob's face is like 4 upon 10. I don't know how hot, I don't know how hot she feels. I mean, all the cat can underneath is like 45 degrees. She's trying to do a living for herself. It's what it means as a small little local bar which specializes in a chicken food. Very chicken food. It's a very small bar. It's not just a eat and drink, you know, like that. It's very casual. The thing about Amor that still never uh, puts a smile on my face is the fact that they always have to eat the sun. Hmm. Can see, cannot buy. Very addictive.
perfect settings for movies so imagine like people having a little wedding you know a proposal a wedding proposal right in the heart of squares like that you know and against all the different backdrops uh, backdrops of colors the buildings the architecture of the, of the windows i think it's so so pretty so quaint i love that we go to we try to get to rialto bridge as well as St. Mark square Oh, it's five euros for for, for a glass of uh, fresh chicken tea. It's all for some pieces of bread, yeah. and then they have different different toppings, right? It's like capris, yeah. Yes, capris, uh, like a tapas as well, right? Little little, but they call it chicken tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So little bit of some. Do you want to go straight? Or do you want to turn left? Mm, I I need maybe this one. There's two tables here, the little alley, the little bridge. So pretty. Attenzione. Mercato del pesce. This is a fish market. And you can smell the smell of it, right? I don't know, summer will be very hot, so the smell will be quite strong. I don't know, I, I can't decide whether that, that marlin, that long, the one with the sharp sword fish, I can't decide whether that's real or not. Jacob is not impressed, so Jacob is afraid of the smell, although Jacob cooks the best among us. <laughs> yeah, I can't because then I'll be smelling on fish. <laughs> but I can imagine uh, at 6am or 7am every morning, we are very, very happy. So I'm sure the local people will be shocked here as well, I'm very, very sure. One of those things that you know by 12 pm they should actually you know play up, especially during summer, it's very very hot. So we'll head towards there. And there are more many Jacob! 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 Guys, Jacob is like really lost. He's like all off by himself. Maybe he can buy then cook us for dinner. Yeah, maybe yes, that's right. Yeah, maybe he's, he's looking for something to cook for us. That's true. But we have pork chops tonight. Yes, we have pork chops tonight. So uh, summer's approaching and it's the season of uh, cocomero. Cocomero is a very Fiorentine language for watermelon. Yes, so they have the most beautiful watermelons in the next coming three, four months. 
I see people eating Coco Mero and uh, I'm inspired. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob Lim, Jacob, Jacob, uh, Maurizio Gucci, Jacopino Gucci. <laughs> Are they also close early in here? No, I think uh, usually um, summertime they can open all the way to 9, 10 o'clock. So this amuses me a lot because cannoli is very typical Sicilian and then you find it on all the way north. Uh, I think they're too rich for me. One bite and I'm done. More than a thousand, more than a thousand Italian wine. Towards the Rialto Bridge. So from the 16th century all the way to the 18th century, this bridge has been the main bridge for all Venetians. Before that, it used to be only a wooden bridge. So there were uh, many, many accidents. Historic costume sale and rent. So you can actually buy this, the whole thing. And then uh, but then I cannot imagine renting it because if they're original, some of them are at least three, four, five hundred years old, right? But <laughs> how amazing, how beautiful. Look at the colours. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. These are so beautiful. Lace and look at that, like gold filigree. These are really princesses. Very, very beautiful. The famous uh, flying, flying lion of Ben Venice, one of the size of Bernets here. I'm very scared of these baby dogs here. I think they're a little bit scary. I don't know, I think so. So guys, again, I don't know whether these are real. Remember our Camille, Camellia? It's been one small one, it's really 155 euros. And you know, I mean, they say that Camille is, this is original, but I, I really don't know. So anyway, better to get from Ribbon's Live uh, artisanal stuff, right? I think so. <laughs> I mean, that's quite amazing. Again, they're supposedly Murano glass, but I'm always a bit afraid of whether it's true or not, but they're very, very pretty. Really pretty. I think women and accessories, we will never stop laughing. We all love accessories. I mean, it's almost like batik. Right? I mean, look at all these 8 euros. I mean, obviously not handmade, but very different style. Very cute style. They're so cute. Look at the cars. I think they're all recycled pieces. You need to buy Jacob. Jacob, you need to buy you a, a motorcycle. We'll buy you a motorcycle from recycled material. Okay? 
Obviously, a real fountain drop, but you look at that in the shape of the uh, gondolas. Yeah. Right, so pretty. Yeah, so you follow us as well, yeah? Exactly the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. 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 A few moments later. Mm. Obviously, the basilica is named after the Saint uh, Saint Mark. Uh, apparently, two Venetians stole his body from Alessandra, which was then called Egypt, right? Mm. Uh, to bring it here. So that you could be buried here. Yeah. I think it was in uh, 800s, AD 800s. So like I said, the lion is one of the main symbols of uh, Venice. And then what they did was that if they wanted to uh, charge somebody of guilt, they actually put a letter here yeah. to write the yes, person's I sin of guilt. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then yeah, and then the judge could actually take it out and then decide whether to call in the person to go for a trial. Interesting. That's very interesting. Look at the mouth of the lions. Mm -hmm. Like a post mail. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <clears throat> some criminals or accused people. Uh, I don't know that it's under construction now, but uh, I think it's maybe not. Oh, this is the architecture. I was just telling Jacob, right? And these are all the Ottoman as well as Byzantine kind of influence as well. Right, so you see the colors are richer, the colors are a lot of gold, a lot of blue. <laughs> So uh, I've been here uh, once, very late at night, I think it was uh, 12 plus, 1 a.m. Is it more beautiful? Yes, it's, it's more beautiful because there, there was there was yeah. nobody. There was oh. nobody. <laughs> yeah, so my advice is that you guys are adventurous, right? Come at 1 or 2 a.m., you have the whole city to yourself, or you come at 5 a.m. to also catch the sunset, uh, the sunrise as well. Venice during carnival time, so I think that changes every year. Usually, I think just be of factory. And here in this beautiful piazza, right, they will have uh, people, Venetians, that dress in the beautiful costumes, men and women. And of course, if you decide to take pictures with them, you give them two euros. This is and January and February is a little bit more rainy, more friendly. <laughs> But I think, if I'm not mistaken, this portion here, mm -hmm. either the right side, I think this portion here, is the main original portion of the, of the square. 
this part here, the one, two, three, if I'm not mistaken. The brown -ish Yeah, the brown -ish, yes, correct. The original part of the palace as well as the church, yeah. A few inches later Very very handsome gondolier Ma quanti anni fai questo tipo di passione? Two weeks Ma due settimane? Eccidenti! Oh no! It's only done it for two weeks so I don't know Anyway guys this is my I think my third time taking a gondola uh, It's one of the most um, fabulous a little bit uh, crazy because um, at every second, every millisecond, you can feel the gondola tilting. But I love it. I feel like a princess. Just so, John. Yes, a Man. queen and no princess. Ah, a queen. You see, even John says a queen. Huh? The only thing is that uh, John doesn't sing, but it's okay. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> Eventually. Gondola. But what cost a gondola like this? 150. Okay, about 150,000 euros. Yeah. So 80 euros for about 25 minutes. Okay, 100 euros for about one hour, 50 minutes. So we took the shorter one because I'm a little bit at sea sick. Okay. Um. Hi guys. Okay. So very very nice guys. So you see all the little little bits, all the little little parts. I don't want my phone to drop. Okay. Now, now, they, also, now the gondolas don't sing anymore. Okay, if they want to sing, you need to actually like uh, like hire another specialist singer. That's another one hundred twenty euros. So I'll sing for you guys. Also, oh, let me know. <laughs> so just a little, guys. It's just a little, little surprise. Okay, and you see how skillful they are. How skillful they are. He's only doing this for two weeks. So I hope my gondola doesn't uh, doesn't tumble uh, because he's only been doing this for two weeks. <laughs> Uh, in Venice. Now it's in summer. I've never been to Venice in summer, but I love it. Yes, it's a crystal leaf leaf as well. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, mind you as well. So Venice is truly, truly magical. Look at that, okay? Uh, and I think uh, the Venetians, they were here, uh, I think in uh, 400 AD. Okay, so we are crossing the Rialto Bridge here. We are the Rialto Bridge, so we want to Okay, guys, so here we go. Okay, so we're now in the open water, so I'm a little bit sad. I'm a bit scared, not sad, okay? It's a very, very amazing experience. I love it. Uh, even though this is my third time on a gondola, it feels different each time. So we are here in mid mid it's very, very hot. I think I'm going to grow like 10 feet darker. But guys, the crowds have come back. You can tell that the crowds have come back here. From Venice, come down to Florence. I think it's going to be magical. Uh, I don't know what to say about Venice. Uh, it takes my breath away each time that I'm here. Uh, it's a bit expensive to, to meet in Venice, uh, but I love it. 
Uh, Venice is really, really beautiful. Uh, the hotels here cost a bomb, but rightfully so, okay? Rightfully so, because it really is a magical city. So some of the luxurious hotels, they have their own, they have their own boat service, right? Some of the luxurious hotels, they have their own boat service here. I, I, I want to take you guys on this virtual tour with me, because I know you guys are perspiring in beautiful Singapore. So at least you guys enjoy a little bit of this beautiful, um, part of Venice me and guys you see how they turn uh, guys for me it's a sheer art uh, for them to turn into all the little eddies guys it's not easy uh, guys okay, okay. the house of Casanova here okay, gang banging okay. all the gang uh, they, they do a lot of sex with Those masks, very, okay? erotic, uh, yeah, very erotic yeah very erotic okay, very erotic right so say Chow also got uh, himself man here Alright guys, say ciao to him. Okay, ciao, so ciao. Okay, from Singapore, yeah. Everybody's from Singapore. Say ciao. Okay, beautiful. Alright. So like I mentioned, uh, it's um, it's really, really an art, guys. All the little doors, like I mentioned, all the little secrets what goes on in all these apartments here. Okay. And guys, actually, a house here, right? It isn't. I'm very surprised. A house here isn't that expensive. I was shocked. Maybe because the real Venetian people, they do not want to stay here anymore. Okay, the monument of the last king of Venice. Daniele Manin. We lost a war with the French, with uh, Napoleone Bonaparte. Uh, which year was this? It's a monument for your victory. Okay, monument for the victory. Yeah, so you win the French. Huh? You win the French. <laughs> We see another gondola coming towards us. Okay? So like I said, it's a bit of, I'm, sh I'm sure this must be young love but that's so cute, okay? Yeah, that. okay? First floor, we have a museum in the Red Rock. The Red Rock? Okay, From the Constantinople. But what boutique is this? You know Istanbul? Yes! Yes! Before, it's named as Constantinople. Yes, no? yes, Istanbul. Where then is attack Istanbul, saccaged uh, a red rock. Understand. So there is a lot of Byzantine, there's a lot of Byzantine influence. Okay. Even here, imagine just to alight here, in the hotel here, okay? Just to alight here, imagine a wedding, eh? then you alight here to go into the hotel. It has such a treat, okay? So pretty, so pretty, oh, so pretty here. Yeah.